field. It's the new look Limerick team that travel to the banks of the Lee. Tyke Flynn is quite a dependable goalkeeper, while wing back Sean O'Reardon plays his club hurling with court champions Newtown Chandram. James O'Brien and Paddy McNamara will provide some invaluable experience to a side that has courageously played throughout the league in troubled times on Shannon's side. Ball runs down towards Kieran Murphy. Coming through the middle, however, is Jerry O'Connor. Quick response by Cork. As he lashes that over the crossbar. Well picked up by Andrew Brennan. Jerry O'Connor is there. Pulled on one-handed, but it worked out fine. Pick up the first time wasn't great. The second time it is. It's Brennan again. He's coming through the middle. Uses the short grip. And that's over the bar. Andrew Brennan from Caroline. Showing that he certainly isn't fearful of the court man. Breaking ball favours Ben O'Connor. About to greet him and say hello. Is Kieran O'Rourke. In for his Saki O'Halpi. Drops it the first time, that is the second, and consequently steps up a gear. Chance here for Cork if they bear down on a goal. Is that a penalty? It is. No doubt about it. But Shane O'Neill fouled Pat Morgan. Pat Morgan buries it. Unstoppable. He went straight between. Shane O'Neill and his keeper Ty Flynn. Puck out by Flynn is straight down the middle. Nipping in here is Graham Mulcahy. Having a pop. The response to the Limerick supporters says that's a good one. Nipping in here, working hard was Graham Mulcahy from Kilmallock. Did well. Niall McCarthy showing well. Trying to get around Sean O'Reardon. O'Reardon chasing after. McCarthy trying to set up Jerry O'Connor. Brian O'Sullivan is there for Limerick. Guarding the path to goal. Jerry O'Connor into the middle to Lachlan McLaughlin. Is he capable of scoring from there? He certainly is. Come Cork again. Niall McCarthy is calling for it. Unmarked. Stepping by Kieran O'Rourke. Makes an angle for himself. Tries to send it back outside first Pat Horgan. Horgan wins the tussle when he really shouldn't have. Still Horgan tries to get a touch to it. The referee blows his whistle and it's another penalty. It was a ball really that Limerick should have played. Is this a case of deja vu? Here's Horgan. Second penalty. Oh, no, oh, no. Stopped. Brilliantly. A vital save. Brilliantly stopped by Ty Flynn. Anthony Owens. Nice ball inside for us. O'Brien bearing down and goal. It's inside the referee plus his whistle. Is there a push inside the large rectangle? There is. And there's a penalty for Limerick. to the verbals between Paulie McNamara and Don Lowe accusing. Let's see what McNamara has. Hits him low, saved by Don Lowe. Put back in. It's still there for Limerick, but Clark converts on the slither. And they move forward out towards the sideline. Much to the delight of the home supports. Stopped by Don Lowe accusing. Cleared eventually. Challenge on Hurley. The tempers are becoming frayed, and the referee will be called into stern action here. I feel most unsavoury game played in sporting fashion up to now. It was a hefty challenge on Hurley that started the rumpus.
and the action and the colour of the card is going to be interesting. It's a straight red. Impressive hurler. Some of the things Limerick have done going forward and the scores they've taken. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Graham Mulcahy has been a revelation in corner forward. Uh, some wonderful scores taken. Cork just seemed to take the, the foot off the pedal. This is uh, Andrew Brennan, one of the first points. Very midfielder attacking. I mean, Cotton Nocton is probably the quickest player in the Cork team, or one of the quickest players, but I mean, he was willing to have a go at him. And in fairness to Limerick, they are trying and they are having a go at it. Anthony Owens as well, a big full forward, has got a great score. That's Graham Mulcahy. That's as good a championship point as you're going to see. Liam, you've been very impressed by Mulcahy, haven't you? I give him man of the match so far. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is, a, this is watch this. This is, if Henry Shevlin did it or DJ Carey did it, we'll be all raving about it. That's an extremely really good point. That's a real Ben O'Connor type point. And I would give him man of the match so far. Does this suggest, James, that you know, there were, if you had mix of the players who left the panel, 24 from last year, some of the players you have here today, Limerick would have been competitive in this there's game? No, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, as I said, they were in the All Ireland final three years ago. That I mean, they had a core of, of, of good players. Um, this guy's been a real find. I mean, this, you this know, sends a cornerback here. You know, three fantastic scores on, on, on the guy's day. It was, and it was a bad foul he'd experienced. It, it was, yeah. He went straight uh, into his back. But listen, still think you, you can't do that. You can't pull back no. like that. No, I saw at first I thought he didn't, but I think he did. He just pulled out the hurry, yeah. and you know, he wasn't he wasn't upset if he got cut anybody in the end of it. It looked like you know, so he had to go, had to go. And the disadvantage that puts Limerick at was bad enough, wasn't it's it? It's bad enough. It's bad enough, and they're now at a real, a really big disadvantage. And I think Cork will get a little bit of a lecture at halftime as well. Why? Was, did you feel their attitude ah, wasn't right in the first half? I just don't think they're driving on in the game. But then having that, that might suit them going into the next uh, to the Munster final. If, if they hammer these people, they'll be all the talk about Cork again. So it might be just suiting Cork the way the game is actually going. And the very Runs kindly for John Gardner. Sends it back. Right smack between the posts. Easy point for the, the Pearson man. Now McCarthy, without any pressure or hustle, gets his third point of the game. Easy ball for McCarthy, easy score. Graham Mulcahy getting inside the court cover, sending it across the face of the goal. It was a touch. Graham Mulcahy got inside O'Neill here. Despite his difficult angle, a yes, good save by Dolo Cusick. Clear message for the Limerick County Board and officials and delegates. Michael Cusson. Referee says play on. Paddy O'Sullivan turns on David Green. There's only one thing on his mind. Can he do it? He can. goalkeeper tied play. Once he turned David Green, it was trouble for Limerick with a capital T. Ronan Curran. Frankie Murphy. Looks good. It's his second point of this monster semi-final.